shake that. Okay, unboxing time, and this one is a really great model. There's a picture of it there. I may have mentioned it in my last video for the layout update. This is a GWR GWR042 tank class 14XX locomotive, number 1427. And this is just this is brilliant. Outline picture of it on the front. Oh, that I've, uh, really is great. Uh, I bought this model off of eBay for twenty-seven pounds seventy-five. Let's get open and have a look at it. I think we'll use a new thing. I know how to open these boxes. It's a bit easier. You don't crush all the uh, sides. Then there we go. It's easy. really is one of my most favourite locomotives, I was so happy I got it. There's a few people on YouTube doing some videos of her. I just thought, I've always wanted one, why not get one? And it's such a great price, I would have been silly not to get her. So you've got this sheet, with your information there, and you've got the outline picture on the front. Alright, instruction manual. And locomotive operation maintenance type 7M motor hmm so obviously it's just the usual lubrication at the top instructions how to use it it's strange they are way um, their way of taking it apart because you have to um, take the chimney off with a screw in the middle and there's brake pipes all around it and you have to unclip them I mean, I've done this because I wanted to oil it because it needed a bit of oiling when I first got it. And it's not easy. It's a good design, though. Yeah, so that's that. Right, onto the locomotive. So you've got the normal block of polystyrene packaging, which isn't that bad, really. It's a bit loose, but it's for packaging. If you, keep it, if you don't keep you know, rocking it around, it'll be okay. So you've got your hole in the back, if you just push it out, being extra careful. And here we have her. And what a lovely little engine she is. So I think we should start at the front. We have metal buffers, not sprung, but metal. You've got your s medium coupling. A lovely handrail going over the top of the smoke box. Lovely design to the smoke box. You've got a vacuum pipe here, which I didn't fit. It was already fitted. You've got your little ha lamp hooks here and here. The detail on this is just so fine. It's, it's, it's brilliant. Uh, this is the most detailed engine I've got, I think. You've got your brake pipe around here. Brake pipe goes all the way across underneath there. You've got some footsteps here. Oh, it's just brilliant. You've got like a little box, a toolbox. The handrail comes all the way around. And all the um, little caps on top of the water tanks and a breather for the water tanks none of this is moulded, it's all stuck on it's extra and you've got the lo lovely GWR lettering on the side it's brilliant, it's so well applied and the paintwork is spot on and then coming down here you've got your sanders for a wet day or a slippery day the sand comes out here and then you've got your pipe again, the brake pipe steps to go up into the cab and you've got some lovely detail on the brake well the um, suspension there and the axle box and what is interesting is the back but, but the back sort of truck sort of axle is sprung as you can see there it goes up and down when you go over points and things it's quite interesting to watch 
There's, there's rivets all over the side of this engine, as you can pick them out. Oh, it's, it's full of them. And you've got your hang rails going up into the cab. You've got your number, 1427. These hand rails here, though, and here, they are moulded, but hey ho. Come round to the back. Again, you've got your metal unsprung buffers. And you've got your brake pipe and your medium coupling. And a nice, I love the number on the back there, on the buffer beam. And again, loads of rivets, loads and loads of rivets. And again, it's exactly the same around this side as the other side. On the top, we've got a handrail here. We've got some a moulded sort of know, vent here. It doesn't open, but you know, hey ho. Um, the whistle and whistle guard at the back there. The lovely safety valve brass bonnet, as typical for GWR. Dome. The chimney's lovely. It's metal chimney. And you've got the uh, top for the injector pipes. That's brilliant. Really is brilliant. And then on the back you've got your fake coal, which is okay. So yes. Underneath you've got all your brake rods. And it has got um traction tires which gives it some extra grip. It has it's got pickups on all the wheels. That's brilliant. I think now we should have a look at her um, in action. Okay, let's go and give this delightful little 14 class loco a run. Show you how awesome she is. Right, hopefully everything's on and we'll send her on her way. Right, the power is set on the fourth notch on the HM2000 controller, and because she's so low geared, she doesn't really like going any faster than that. That's a good realistic speed for her. She wouldn't really go any faster than that, you know, in real life. But see how she handles the uh, standard Hornby point here. Great, not a splutter. And what about the standard Hornby uh, diamond crossing? Like it wasn't there. Right then, as she's a little 0, uh, 042 shunter, she should be able to go quite slowly, like a shunter does. And I believe this engine's quite low geared to make it go slower, more realistic. So let's just see how good that claim is. Wow. That is actually moving. I'm going to have to bring the camera closer because it's going to take forever to get there. That is moving. And that's DC everyone. DC. When you see engines run that slowly and that smoothly, you start to wonder, why would you ever need DCC?
and she's just as good in reverse too. So, the Hornby GWR14XX, what a wonderful little loco, brilliant for shunting, such a slow runner, smooth runner, reliable runner, just brilliant, pulls quite a lot too, for a small engine. So, thanks for watching, I definitely recommend you go out and buy one of these engines, especially if you can get it at the sort of price I got it at. Yeah, any comments? Any questions, I'll respond to any questions, as long as they're reasonable. Um, yeah, until next time, goodbye.